Gentlemen, good evening. On request from a couple of iRacers, I've decided just to do a very quick oscillation stability test using this um, big AKM 65L servo. It is able to deliver 38 Newton meters at 25 amp peak of sine driven by the SimiCube. So just from the settings in SimiCube control panel, um, I'm just using very basic settings. This is what I generally run on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, 25 amps as a maximum setting on the current. Then SimiCube reconstruction filter for this test. I just make it as um, a fast setting so that we can see if we can emulate the maximum oscillation frequency that we can introduce to the servo. Um, Talk bandwidth is at a relatively high 4.7 kilohertz. The center frequency peak notch filter is completely disabled and then as damping I will run a standard 5.5% damping which is my day-to-day -day setting. I run a 1.5% friction and I can make it a 1.5% inertia. This is what is my day-to-day -day settings which I normally run for the GTE and GT3 cars. Um, I tone it down a little bit for the um, IndyCar DW12 on a 6-pin pinion as it is pretty prone to oscillatory behavior since a couple of seasons ago. But every other car I pretty much run these settings. Um, if we look at the iRacing itself, let me get this Vive headset on and just have a look very quickly. I'll go to options and to give you an idea, I've got a 900 degree wheel range, four street pack, linear mode is enabled. I've got the damp and oscillations checkbox checked. The maximum force is 38 and as said that the servo is capable of 38 millimeters one to one at just over 25 amp peak of sine. So this is what we will see realistically. Damping in game is set to zero as you would expect as well as min force is set to zero. Okay, so let's just see what the boys are doing here and what the weather is like. It's 29 degree track temperature. Oh, pretty quick times in here. I'm sure I won't get there, but the aim of this is not to run quick laps, just to show how the wheel behaves down straights or high speed turns if you let go of it. And then also on request of somebody else's, I will go flat high speed into a wall, let go of the wheel and see what the behavior of the wheel is in such a case. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have much audio. Perhaps you can pick up some of the car engine sounds through the headphones onto the GoPro camera. But I will commission my amplifier with the speakers again at some point in the near future. And for this test, it will however suffice without having any sort of engine sounds. You might notice the oversteer tendency of my car. On the outlap it's pretty hectic, but um, I quite enjoy the Mercedes being oversteer rather compared to being understeer. On the main straight I will try to induce some oscillations and let go of the wheel and see how she goes.
even at this high torque level, it's pretty phenomenal how much the car tells you where she's going and what's happening. Okay, here's test number one. And then I'll just go flat into the wall as well. And that is how much the wheel will move. Okay, of course the car is totally broken now as, as you would expect. And the only thing that has happened there is that my USB cable has pulled from the PC my button box cable. I'll just reconnect it quickly. Okay, I can do another test then. Hopefully this is quite clear. I made a video earlier today, but the sun sitting on the display was quite terrible. Let's take another wall that we can glance off. For example, this one. And that is the movement that you will see. And that is some eye racing movement with the car jiggling back and forth. And we can do a final test guys. Let me stay to the right to give this guy in the Porsche some time to get by. Thank you, Stefan. And good fun to have the self-aligned steering come into play at these high levels. Having done a bit of road racing in South Africa back in the middle 90s on a non-power steering car it feels pretty similar to that sort of behavior.
I shall do another crash test at the end of this lap. Let's see the wall here and go across. Okay, luckily there was nobody close by. But yeah guys, that's the extent of how much you will move in. I hope you have seen what you wanted to see from this. Feel free to give your observations and comments as well. I'll catch you boys later. Cheers.